Here we go, it's last week of the auction. America's favorite top 10 list of auction results from around the globe. And I am your host, Josh Levine, back again with the latest and greatest from the auction world. I hope you enjoy these finds and maybe learn a thing or two. I always do. So here we go, it's last week of the auction. We stretch all stuff. Coming in at number 10 is this Jane Pizer three-figure planner that hammered for $1,200 at Leland Little. Approximately 20 inches tall, unsigned, but unmistakably by this wonderful North Carolina potter. I love finding hidden gems in the art pottery world like this. Thanks, Joe Pander. Number nine is this Eli Harvey desk bronze that brought $3,500 at John Moran. Known as the Lioness with a Kill, duh, and dated 1904, this little gal was only nine and a quarter inches long for perspective. That's a great find. Number eight, check this out, 1796 Great Bust Silver Quarter that just realized $13,500 at Matthew Bullock Auctioneers. Only graded F12, that price truly illustrates the rarity of coinage like this, as well as the demand. This one's a beauty. Number seven is a Van Cleef and Arpels 18 karat gold gem set bangle that brought $18,900 at Freeman's. Remember that name and think big bucks like Tiffany or Cartier. And speaking of big bucks, I'm featuring some furniture in this episode as prices are ticking way up, probably for several reasons like always it's that styles change and things always come back like ABBA and the upcycle up mindset and nostalgia always play a little role here but hey, I really think it's that uh, crappy reproduction you want is sitting on a cargo ship at the dock so you gotta go to an auction baby I love it okay let me show you number six this American Chippendale desk and bookcase brought $38,000 at Brunk auctions true 18th century and from Connecticut it's great to see 250 year old pieces commanding money again and speaking of which number five is a pair of Philadelphia Queen Anne side chairs that sold for $46,000 at Westport auction Queen Anne style was really popular in the mid 18th century and apparently it's coming back maybe because of Netflix or Outlander maybe it's Outlander always blame everything on Outlander but all right this one's for you mid-century fans. Number four is a Wendell Castle game table that brought a hundred thousand dollars at Rego. Signed WS and dated 1975, it was in his catalog resume of known works. Super cool and his stuff is out there. But enough about furniture, check this out. Number three is Captain America's Shield that brought $259,540 at Hakes. This was Chris Evans' prop shield from the Endgame movie. Cool, right? But if you're like me, you're already thinking, this was a prop. There's more of them that were made for the franchise. Where are they? And I, I want to know where they are so I can get the next one. You know, maybe, maybe if I had a time machine. Okay, number two is the skull of a juvenile Triceratops that sold for $679,500 at Christie's London, or 500,000 British pounds converted. Who wouldn't want one of those? But this one takes the cake. Number one is a rare portrait sand bottle that hammered for $780,000 at Hindemith, setting the world record for this rare genre of collectibles. And this one was by the master of this art form, Andrew Clements, and this is the only portrait he was known to have done in this medium. The bottle stood eight and three quarter inches tall and has lasted all these years. Now that's what I call a lot of free time on your hands. Can you imagine doing that with these colored sands? Anyway, if you work at an auction house in the state sale company and you want more free time on your hands, Shipping Zane, the best kept secret software in the resale industry. See, I'm getting better at those smooth transitions. Anyway, I used to find shipping so frustrating, I just wanted to sell. Believe me, I know your pain and so does Shipping Zane. And that's why they created their amazing platform. Shipping should be an asset for your business instead of a headache, an expense, some time sucker, a profit center for somebody else. Shipping Saint makes it better for you, your business, and your customer. Visit try.shippingsaint.com or tell them Josh sent you. I got the link below. And as always, if you enjoyed the show, give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment, share it with a friend, and until we stream again. That was really cheesy, but I liked it.